Well, now on to banning books. Two Memphis High School students aren't having it. Rebecca Butcher spoke with those on both sides of the controversial bill in Nashville. Imagine how this feels for a queer student or how it feels for a student of color to have their history ripped off the shelves because it's a little too real for some parents liking. Censorship, that's the issue Carville High School sophomore Milana Kumar has with Tennessee Senate Bill 1944, which would, if signed into law, ban obscenity and pornography in schools as determined by the school boards. The bill would require school librarians to remove books from shelves for 30 days if someone challenges them. The feeling was each school board, they're, they're elected by the people in the district, so they, they're close to the people and to know what community standards are. And obscenity, of course, is a, a subjective measure. And the Supreme Court is said to use community standards. Next, bill sponsor Senator Joey Hensley, who represents District 28 in Middle Tennessee, says the local school board decides to return the book or permanently remove it. An issue Kumar raised was the perceived obscenity in the Holocaust and violence of a Ruby Bridges biography novel by advocates of the bill. My main concern was the bill was being presented as a bill against pornographic material, material for minors because their thought was like, who could say no to that? Um, but then how they would execute it and use the bill was towards violence, which is a part of most marginalized histories. Fellow Tennessee Youth Coalition organizer Selena Shimsudin detailed an encounter with country music star John Rich at a hearing. We were like, can we get a list of the books? And he blatantly ignored us. And I think that that really hit that like we don't have any representation in the room. Hensley argues books considered age appropriate for high schoolers are not necessarily appropriate for younger students. The sexuality issues need to be reserved for older students and leave some of these other issues to, to, to be addressed later and certainly not in the early grades. But we're all here for the same thing. Like we all just want a voice at the table. In Memphis, I'm Rebecca Butcher.